Hey guys, Rich here, Dexter with me. What up, Baggates? Um, today we're talking about uh, what's your favourite card. Um, so Dex is going to go first and explain what his favourite uh, Call of Duty is and uh, the reasons behind that. So, fire away. It's got me Modern Warfare 1 due to the fact it was way more balanced than any of the cards. The explosive damage was pretty piss poor, but the snipers on the whole. R700, man, I can't even get any better. The only thing, the only downside I really have with Modern Warfare 1 is the fact that it's been overrun nowadays with hackers constantly. It's more so than World of War, I think. And um, yeah, I really can't think of anything else. But the only, it's just all in all, I think it's the best of all the cards. How about you? Um, it is a good game, yeah. But like I say, it's full of hackers now. Um, I'm not sure why, but my favourite's got to be Modern Warfare 2. Um, I know it's full of like one man army noob tubes and shit like that and danger close but there's something about that game I mean the sniping on it I mean I did used to snipe quite a bit the sniping on it felt amazing uh, the whole you know uh, slatter van pro the intervention and I don't know it just felt awesome um, but I don't know yeah. I, I know there was a lot of bullshit in that game the noob tubes for example yeah everyone's one man army or scavenger noob tubes um, but there's something about that game just felt like really solid. I mean, this game, don't get me wrong, is really good. I like how they balanced it and they've changed things with like the class system and stuff like that. And I do appreciate the fact that they've actually made effort to change some stuff. Um, I mean, I, I like this map as well. Knifing on it is a little bit, um, I don't know, shit. Um, <laughs> Understand. But I mean, I do quite well on this, but that's probably because I'm host um, and I got a pretty good connection. Uh, but knifing has always been one of their things that they're either going to make something dead overpowered or knifing in general shit but at least it's kind of shit for everyone not just me um, but you can manage you can you know make the most of it and do all right like there just depends how retarded everyone is uh, so yeah this is a good game i mean the worst for me is probably going to be the first black ops i just didn't like it yeah. the, the way the snipers worked and everything was shit um, the damage on the weapons as well it felt like firing chopped a bits of carrots out of your granny's mouth yeah there you go it's like your grand spitting a dinner at you um, so that that was a bit poor so i mean what, what do you reckon what's your worst one well i don't know <laughs> to be honest i think i think the entire card series has just gone down the drain I think Black Ops. Why well, have you got five days game time? Well, because I've, I haven't got a life really. That's the only answer. Uh, you need that. to touch your breast once in a while. Yeah, I've got mine. But um, I don't know. I think Black Ops Two is full of the most scumbags out of any other game, due to the fact that I don't know. I think the weapons really aren't balanced at all. Nothing has the ability to counteract anything else, especially when you're coming against someone using a, a SMG. And the SMGs, people that use them, don't use them like an actual a fast moving weapon, you just lay down with them and it annoys the fuck out of me when I'm running around with a sniper there's some guy with a PDW who has a bright idea to fuck the ground whilst he's shooting at me. Yeah, you say that but uh, they, have, they have balanced it because I mean if you wanted to you could put on sensor grenades and throw them around the corner and then you'd see if there was anyone there. Yeah but I shouldn't really have to when when everyone else is laid down with the SMGs they should, it, I, that's, to be fair that's not really a quarrel with the game that's more with Players, so yeah, yeah, the COD, there, yeah, it, it, yeah. <laughs> the COD community at times is a bit shit. I mean, I'd say the YouTube community is better than the, the general COD community. Um, I mean, you got this, you, you got the separate sides of it. You got um, the just general commentators like what I'm trying to be here. Um, you've got the snipers. You've got like Phase and Darth and Dare and Optic and all them. Which don't get me wrong, there's a lot of skill involved and they are really good. Some of them are like amazing players as well as just sniping. So I mean, you got that, and then well, you got the trick shotting, and then you've got the trolls. The I mean, again, you got two sides to that. You got the ones that are genuinely really funny, and you got the ones that are just fucking annoying. <laughs> I know, man, it failed. Um, but yeah, then you got the ones that are just generally annoying and think they're really funny, but they're not because they got a couple of subs. Um, you know who you are. Um, and then you got. Um, <laughs> Like I say, then you've just got the people that, you know, try and just, you know, do their best. And you've got the people that can go in a game and get, like, three swarms. And you got faggots like this guy. So, uh, I decided to try and play the objective. That's my only death this game, is this guy standing down there in a flaming corner watching the bomb. He's just falling off the edge. He'd rather commit suicide 
often get killed, that's really quite sad. Um, so you say you can go and commit suicide a couple more times. Um, but yeah, for me, Modern Warfare 2 got to be the best. Black Ops 1 the worst. This one I'd say is uh, it, it's up there. It's you know, um, I don't know how long they're going to keep going with the COD franchise um, and how different it's going to get. I don't think it's been any different really at all. The only difference has been the weapons and the graphics slightly. No, the class system as well. Yeah, I suppose, but that's that's something that the fans have been asking for. Yeah, a long time. I also I heard something about the zombies the other day. I heard that. Um, it wasn't originally part of um, the Call of Duty thing. It was something that one of the developers did in like sort of his spare time and made it. And then the big CEO, CEO, CEOs or whatever um, were like, "Yeah, actually, that's really good," and they put it in. I'm sure it wasn't quite that short and sweet, but that's pretty much how it went down. And now it's like it's a big part of uh, you know the Treyarch games as like the zombie side of it. There are people that will buy it just for zombies, and it is good. They put a lot more into it this time. To be fair, the only thing I've always wondered about zombies, you know how it's got a story behind it and it's completely like convoluted. I don't know whether that's all been thought out beforehand, but to interlock, or if, as you've gone along, you've just added different parts to make it. I don't think they would have planned all of it from the start, like the bit that we're on now. I reckon they planned they plan each game and then they think, you know, how can we add to that storyline for the next game kind of thing. I think the next question really would be, what's your favourite zombies? Like, not gay, not like uh, Black Ops, well, at war kind of zombies. Like, what in general is your favourite? I think mine is Call of the Dead. Giorgio Romero is a zombie, that's fucking awesome. Go forward to that, should be given a medal. My, my favourite anything to do with zombies has got to be Zombieland, the yeah. film. It's flaming awesome, and apparently they're either making Zombieland 2 or they're making a series out of it, which could go either way. Um, just want to point out for this gameplay, it is pretty much been knife only. I don't know if I got a ballistic knife, uh, not ballistic knife, I don't know if I got a combat axe kill, I can't remember, but I end up going 10 for 1. Um, this is the last round now, uh, whip out my staff chopper. Admittedly, I got in a care package, but you know, when I'm rich, you gotta take it. You might get some of shit, you might get some of good. Bug life. Yeah, man. Uh, I like being able to re roll them as well. Um, got engineer on, so just in case. Get something a bit shit, re-roll, hopefully get something better. I don't know how that works, because sometimes I'll re-roll the same thing and get the same thing every time. Um, and then with other things, like, it's completely random, but well, it feels it. Um, mm. So yeah, I'm going to try to get some more of these, sort of, uh, what's your favourite kind of videos out. Being as though it's COD gameplay, I thought, you know, the first one, pretty relevant, should be what's your favourite card. So, I'm going to tell you your favourite card and why, and... Uh, also, what's your least favourite card? And again, you know, why is that? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Adios, bitches.